Hello, everyone. My name is Aaron Standard. I am the founder and CEO of Petabridge, as well as one of the founders of the Aka.net project. And today I want to talk about Phobos 1.0, which is our major update to our Phobos APM library for Aka.net. So what Phobos does is it makes it really easy for you to monitor and trace your Aka.net applications using a very minimal amount of code to configure it and with the ability to export metrics and traces to lots of off-the-shelf monitoring products like Datadog, Application Insights, Prometheus, and more. Phobos also works over the network. If you're using Aka.remote or Aka.cluster, Phobos can transparently trace all of the actor interactions that occur over the network as well. And this is all designed to save you hundreds of hours of debugging and setup time. Rather than having to manually instrument your applications, Phobos works by getting injected behind the scenes into your Aka.net applications. So after you buy a license for Phobos, you can go ahead and install Phobos into your existing Aka.net applications and use a small amount of configuration code that we're gonna show you on the next slide. And from there, once your Aka.net application starts up, you'll be able to go ahead and automatically begin recording trace and metric data from your normal Aka.net actor interactions, as well as other interactions with your actor system, such as if you have an ASP.NET MVC controller or a SignalR hub that communicates directly with Aka.NET, we'll be able to capture metrics and tracing from those interactions too, and automatically export it to the tracing and monitoring services of your choice. So this is an example of what an Aka.NET configuration using Phobos might look like. Uh, this is all part of Aka.NET uh, 1.4 and later, where we have the ability to use what's called an actor system setup class to programmatically configure Aka.NET. So in our case, we're bootstrapping an Aka.NET cluster inside an ASP.NET Core application, which is using the Microsoft.extensions.hosting library. And we're using dependency injection to resolve our tracer and our metrics root. In this specific code sample, uh, we're using Datadog for both the metrics and the tracing in the system. And then we also grab our Hokon from this little text file here. And then we bundle all of this inside a Phobos setup class, where we pass in a reference to the tracer that we're gonna use and the metrics that we're gonna use. And then we finally package this setup class alongside this bootstrap setup class from Aka.net, where we pass in our Hokon configuration. And then we pass in this little line of code right here which is gonna tell Aka.net to launch Aka.cluster with Phobos installed behind the scenes. That way, all of the actors that are running will have tracing and metrics instrumented without you having to write any decorator code yourself. So this is all it takes to go ahead and install Phobos inside a fully fledged Aka.net cluster application. And from there, we can start to get metrics and traces that look like this. Uh, this is an example of a trace that's connecting an ASP.NET MVC method call into a clustered actor system. And you can see these traces right here are automatically recorded using Phobos. And these traces right here are manually recorded using the Phobos API that we expose. So it's very easy for you to go ahead and decorate your own instrumentation calls if you wish, but Phobos automatically captures a lot of data behind the scenes and produces these neat little histograms we can use to understand what actually happened inside our systems at runtime. In addition to traces, we also have the ability to collect detailed metrics about how your system performed. And again, this is using Datadog. You can see some of the different Aka.NET metrics we recorded behind the scenes, such as the total number of messages received per node, or the total number of logs observed per node, or the number of actors created and stopped per node. You can even see down here, using the tags that we provide to Datadog, you could break out these metrics uh, per host. So if we have three nodes in our Aka.NET cluster, I can go ahead and drill into details on how each one of those individual nodes performed uh, using the uh, Aka.logs.counter uh, metric in here. So this is what Phobos is designed to do behind the scenes. And like I mentioned a little bit earlier, Phobos works with whatever your company's preferred APM tools are. So in our case, you know, we're using Datadog. Uh, your business might use Application Insights or Jaeger or Prometheus, which are both open source tools. And truthfully, Phobos supports a growing number of tools all the time. Uh, it's designed to go ahead and be extensible. It works with open standards. Uh, in the case of tracing, we target the open tracing standard. In the case of metrics, we use the really popular app.metrics library in .NET. And in the not too distant future, we will be supporting open telemetry, which covers both tracing and metrics and will be part of ASP.NET Core uh, 5 or 6 in the not too distant future. So the way Phobos really works under the covers is every time an actor 
processes a message, Phobos is going to use some of the Akka.net uh, infrastructure behind the scenes to record metrics and tracing data, which will be batched internally inside your process, and then periodically transmitted up to whatever your external APM systems are, such as you know, Datadog for tracing and monitoring, or maybe some open source technology you have deployed locally inside your own network. In either case, Phobos can support both of those. And that data will be uploaded out of band asynchronously behind the scenes, and it'll give you a really detailed view of what's actually happening inside your systems. Uh, Phobos 1.0 also features a massive reduction in price compared to the previous versions of Phobos we've been selling. Phobos now costs your organization a flat $4,000 per year, and this also includes support from the Petabridge team. So if you need help getting Phobos configured or Phobos doesn't support an APM technology you want to use, you can use that support uh, to get help from us at no additional cost beyond your license fee. Now on top of that, Phobos supports an unlimited node count or number of developers. So as long as you're using it within your organization, you can run Phobos on as many nodes as you want across as many different teams of developers in your organization as you want. And we also feature a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied with your purchase of Phobos and it doesn't work for you, you can go ahead and get back to us within 30 days and we'll refund you in full. And you can buy Phobos instantly online without having to talk to a salesperson at phobos.petabridge.com. Just go ahead and click on the buy link and we'll have a little checkout system you can use to buy Phobos and instantly get it provisioned if you wish. So if you have any additional questions, uh, please take a look at phobos.petabridge.com. Uh, you can contact us through there if you have any questions for our team. And uh, we would love to go ahead and get your feedback on Phobos. And please let us know how well it works for you.